Very good morning my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So I just wanted to highlight that we are really living in a weird time to be honest because in the past what used to push the market or move the market was the for example attacking any oil fields or declaring war between countries or commercial statements or leaders statements or whatever, whatever. that was in the past recently what we are living in the world we are living in right now what really pushes the market is almost none of the above it was it is actually right now the pandemic and the vaccine news uh, yesterday as we can see the gold has made these naughty pips as we can see and the gold actually has dropped for almost 380 pips in just one single day and even if, if we check the chart of the gold we can see that the movement here is really abnormal there was a reason for that yesterday actually uh, there was a statement from Mr. Biden. He's, he believes that the U.S. will break the, uh, his goal of uh, over 100 million vaccines uh, in the first 100 days from his presidency. Also, Moderna provides US, uh, USA COVID-19 vaccine supply update. And of course, that has actually pushed the market to fall or pushed the gold to, push, uh, to, uh, to fall down. Now, by the way, this actually new, uh, this was old as we can see. Look at that. After refreshing the page, the news are gone because if you noticed, it was sync four hours ago, but I just kept the page open for you since yesterday and I just didn't want to miss the opportunity to show you the reason why did the gold fall like this yesterday. It was actually the main reason for failing the deal of the day. And I have mentioned this many times. I'm telling everyone that gold is very subjective to the news. Please pay attention. And of course, you know how lucky I am. My perfect luck in this life that whenever I make any deal of the day, there will be these unexpected news about the vaccine, which will ruin the deal of the day. Sadly, yesterday, the deal of the day was going in about uh, 50 or 60 pips of profit. Then suddenly, boom, all these news about the vaccine has actually changed the direction of the gold. And of course, changed the direction of the USD dollar itself in general. However, we need to look now to find what are the opportunities that waiting us for the uh, rest of the days of this week. So let's now begin with the Euro USD. As we can see, the Euro USD has actually reached the take pro uh, sorry the buy level that I have mentioned from the last weekly analysis video, and currently Euro USD is running in 6.6 .6 pips of profit. However, after seeing this strong bearish momentum. I really doubt if the Euro USD is going to be able to reverse from the given level that I have already uh, wrote for you. I expect, I'm expecting actually right now from the Euro USD to continue the fall to revisit that support level at 1.20576. Uh, 1 that seems like actually a better level to start buying the gold because if, sorry, the Euro USD, because if we check the daily candles, we can notice that the pair in general is moving in a bullish momentum and that doesn't seem to be going in bearish right now. And frankly speaking, by looking at the chart, we can notice here that we are right here like that. We can see that the Euro USD is moving in this strong bullish trend or upper trend and it's expected from the Euro USD to continue the fall like that to hit that support trend line before continuing the rise. The target is actually going to be the peak of the resistance at 1.23420. That's going to be our target and I believe the Euro USD in general is moving toward that resistance. That, that being said, we need to go back to the 4 hour time frame and let's fix the take profit and the buy level. Um, those who have entered this trade, you can keep it running if you want because it seems like so far the pair is reversing and is continuing the bullish reversal. As you can see, the pair is rising. But however, if in case you have missed this entry, I would really advise you to wait a little bit longer just for the pair to revisit that previous uh, resist, uh, support level and just retesting it. And if you see any price action indicating that the pair is indeed reversing at that uh, support level, then we can start buying the pair. I'm telling everyone always, please don't start buying immediately once the pair touch the level. These signals I'm giving, they are just my advices that we can start buying right here. However, it's all up to the price action and the reaction of the market once it reached the level. For example, you cannot set pending order here. Please don't do that. Don't set pending orders. Just wait. If you see the market actually reaches that level, you can set alert if you want. You can just do right click 
trading alert that will open alert for you that the market actually has reached this level then you will come here and you will check what happened okay let me just look at the market let me check the candles okay i see a pin bar let me place the buy order no i see a bearish breakout i should i shall not open any order until i see what gonna what's gonna happen next so please be reasonable be always responsible for your funds and always remember that you have to be careful and there is always a chance that the trade might go in fall because as i said before the forex market is very subjective to the news we are not playing here we are just okay i talk too much but i wanted to say that please be careful guys and uh, pay attention to the market how it reacts to the level don't blindly just open the trade here just because salah said we can start buying here this is technical view but fundamental is also, is also important and we should keep it in our mind so this is the, my uh, this is my fixed signal for uh, the euro usd really hope it will work well work well and let's see what will gonna happen and hopefully it will bring us good profits now looking at the pound usd the pound usd actually hasn't reached the uh, buy level but however it has reached the take profit level immediately without touching our buy level so therefore this signal is no longer valid however um is euro USD, is pound usd still valid for the buy the absolutely answer so the answer is absolutely yes the um if we check right here we can notice that the pound usd actually has made this strong bullish breakout from the long-term resistance at 1.38575 expecting from the pound usd to continue the fall a little bit more to create because here we are having support number one so we can expect from the pound usd to continue the fall to create support number two on the very same level of the broken resistance that level actually gonna be if i'm not mistaken valid to buy the pair because if we check right here if we draw here this support trend line as we can see most likely this is what will gonna happen that the pound usd is actually gonna retest that broken uh, that sorry that uh, support trend line and if if we saw here a price action such as a pin bar or a reversed hammer or a doji anything indicates a, a, a strong press uh, uh, press or pressure from the buyers to push the market up then we can start buying the pair don't place the buy blindly please guys let's wait for uh, for any price action indicates that the pound usd is actually respecting that support trend line after that we can start buying the pair and again the target is going to be exactly the same as 1.39353 so therefore let me just fix um okay the take profit level is going to remain the same uh however the entry should be right here exactly like that just like this perfect so we are actually aiming about 92 pips i would say and the safe zone is going to be ranging for 56 pips which is really fair and therefore let me just fix for you the entry which is going to be uh, 1.38449 hopefully also it will work well and bring us good profits AUD USD is going to remain the same because the pair is about to touch our entry and I believe it's going to be a valid entry as well. As I have explained before in the weekly analysis, we are expecting from the uh, AUDUSD to retest that support trend line. And after that is going to be valid for the buy. Therefore, um, AUDUSD signal remains the same and I think it's going to be valid. And there is absolutely nothing need to be changed about it. And yeah, that's everything for the AUDUSD. USDCAD. USDCAD has been triggered. As we can see, the cell has been activated already. And right now, the USDCAD is running in total of 15 pips of profit. So, if in case you have already opened the trade, and I hope you did, uh, you can keep it running. But however, you can expect from the USDCAD, since now it's facing this previous resistance exactly right here at 1.2697. You can expect from the USD CAD to continue the rise actually, just like this, until it hit that resistance level at 1.27279, and from that point it's gonna be again valid for the short. So in general, USD CAD is good for the sell. However, 
uh, the trade right now it is going in the profit but as i said before and uh, let me just fix it just for the sake of whoever want to see the actual level exactly right from here expect from the usdcad to rise for another 28 pips again until it reaches 1.272 uh, sorry 84 then from that point we can start again shorting the pair so let me just fix this one and one point okay um okay let me just make it and so i think you guys understood already the reference and 1.27284 those who are just looking at this video and just uh without even playing it without even hearing me maybe they will be confused here those who are watching me they will not be confused at all and that's actually a good punishment for those who are not watching me <laughs> okay so yes uh this is gonna be our signal for the usd cad and hopefully it will continue to give us good profits usd gpy usd gpy as we can see did not uh go down as i have expected and seems like this signal sadly has failed and i believe it's uh, along with the gold the only two signals that didn't work well this week and for the gold i have explained re uh, the reasons anyway uh, USD GPY seems like it's going to continue to rise because as we can see right here we're having this uh, resistance trend line that resistance has re uh, recently been breaking out from with this strong uh, bullish candle and therefore we can expect right now from the USD GPY to fall for another 50 pips I would say and after that it's going to retest the broken resistance exactly right here just make it more yes i think here is here is better so we can actually this one we can rise it a little bit more yeah that's actually more convenient so this actually gonna be the level where we can start again buying the usd gpy yes we are going to buy the usd gpy you heard it right uh, the bullish momentum is very strong and i doubt that at this point the usd gpy can continue the fall therefore we had to change the signal to be from the sell to the buy just going along with the market I believe yesterday there was a news that China has overtaken the commercial deals with Europe uh, uh, from USA, but I'm not sure about this. I need to check it out. I believe this is actually what's uh, pushing the, the market to rise. So anyway, uh, we can expect from the USD GPY to fall for another 32 pips before it's going to be valid for the buy. As I said, my friends, when we see here a bullish breakout from a resistance trend line, we can always expect from the pair after the, making the break out from the resistance to continue the rise until it hit the nearest resistance then it's gonna fall to retest the broken resistance trend line and if the retest has succeeded we can actually continue the buy and the market seems like it's gonna continue the rise and in, the, in this scenario the target is gonna be right here the peak of the resistance at 107.960 we have to expect uh, from the USD GPY to fail the retest. Everything is possible right now. So please pay attention that we cannot buy the USD GPY immediately after touching the level. As I'm telling you always, wait for the price action. Wait for something to confirm that we can indeed start buying the pair from that level. And please don't rush buying it. So therefore, USD GPY for the buy at 105.635. 105 sorry 105 105.635 and the target if, uh, if we started buying the pair is gonna be the peak of the resistance so we are actually aiming about oh no that's too much uh let's just make it oh i'm on the daily candles that's ex that explain it all right so the target is gonna be 131 pips of profit take profit level is going to be uh, 106.953 and for the safe zone of course we have to go back to the four hour time frame and let's see now for the safe zone since we are starting to buy right here at the retest of the broken resistance trend line we need to look for where the pair actually can if it falls below that level that considered that it will be considered that the pair actually has failed the retest of the resistance trend line i believe we can set our safe zone right here below that support level that's gonna be about let me just make it a little bit higher so we are talking about yeah exactly 50 pips because my friends as we can see we're having already here uh 
two supports we can have see that we had here here support number one and these two candles representing support number two so if the market actually has failed to break out from that level we can expect from it to reverse at that support level and then to create support number three and then continuing the rise because we are not sure how it's how the market can react to that level what if it's gonna be a long pin bar right if it was a, a long pin bar that indicates a continuation in the growth and most likely the market is going to continue the rise so therefore that's going to be our safe zone and we can expect from the pair to reverse exactly from that level so there goes your signal for the usdgpy and i really hope also it will work very well and bring us good profits usdchf usdchf right now is triggered and so far the pair is going in um almost 10 pips of loss we can expect from the usd chf to continue the rise a little bit more uh let me just clear it for you we can expect from the usd chf let me go to the one hour time frame to, to see it clearly uh, yes exactly mm. let me just be sure uh, it's gonna rise for another exactly 24 pips so we can expect from the usdchf to continue the rise to the level 0 0.89553 before it's gonna continue the fall so therefore if i'm not mistaken usdchf is, is still valid for the short and we can keep this thread running and hopefully it will work very well uh you can expect from the pair to continue the rise a little bit more then eventually it's gonna actually st uh, start the fall and hopefully it will bring us good profits let's now take a look at the gold now the gold has been tricky i have to admit that it has tricked uh, a lot of traders and so far there is um i would like to say it's really not clear how the gold is going this now this time to be honest it's all about the time we have to wait to see how the gold is going to react to this support trend line that we have right here and uh, let's go to the four hour time frame now this candle still has 24 hour 24 minutes to expire however if this four hour time frame candle is ex gonna expire as a pin bar as we can see right here that actually gonna be a good a good signal to start buying the pair this price action right here this reverse hammer this actually indicates uh, that the gold is gonna continue the bullish momentum and this pin bar right here can actually confirm it however this candle hasn't closed yet so we cannot really confirm it right now we are just talking about what you are seeing right now so the gold might be again confusing for some people because if this candle closed as a bearish candle that most likely means that the gold is actually going to continue the fall until that support at 1764 if this this candle closed as a pin bar and i think this is what will going to happen most likely the gold is actually going to continue the rise what happened yesterday as i said before is all it was only due to the news about the vaccination of the united states uh, status however uh, that was only the shock of the market and the market uh, has actually made the uh, the, uh, the shocked or i'm guys english is not my native language i'm just trying to find the words i'm maybe i'm not i cannot find it but i'm just trying to explain that what happened was temporary the, the gold in general is actually rising the, the the bullish momentum is actually what's controlling the gold right now and therefore we can still expect it from the gold to continue the rise as i said uh this support level right here this support at 1789 is the barrier and doesn't seem like the gold is going to be able to make any breakout from that level since we are have it also as a strong support right here and it was a key resistance in the past as well that being said gold actually is going to be good for the buy right away but however as i said before we always have to wait for the right moment so just for the safety of the members i'm gonna select this uh support right here and uh, just let me just make it right here that's gonna be more convenient check the four hour time frame confirm it yes perfect perfect okay so that's gonna be that's gonna be better level to start buying the gold at 1789.38 again uh the gold seems like it's gonna be good for the buy right away but however please guys pay attention again i have to remind everyone um thankfully the comments are very civilized and i'm happy about that there was 
uh, no harmful comments. I didn't have to delete anything at all. Uh, everyone was very good and respectful. And I think, thankfully, uh, the viewers now are aware uh, about how the gold works. Because actually in the past, I used to see really bad comments when the gold trades fails. But however, right now, I think everyone is aware about how this works. So the gold, as I said before, is very subjective to the news. Please always pay attention to it. Uh, this signal I'm giving you is only based on the technical analysis. However, the news or any unexpected events can happen that actually can change the direction of the gold. What we're, what we're saying right here or what we are analyzing is based on what we are having. So please pay attention and be careful and wise and remember that you are responsible for your funds, no one else. So if we started to buy the gold from that point, since let me go to the daily candles, since we are actually relying on that uh, supported trend line, so therefore we can expect from the safe zone uh, that it should be, actually it should be right here below that support. I think the safe zone has to be bigger than that. Yes, that's actually fair. Why? Because there is a chance that the gold actually might fall a little bit more if in case that happened and it's going to reverse exactly at that support right here. I have to remind everyone that this is not a stop loss. Sometimes the market actually reaches the other edge of the safe zone. Then one of the, one of the guys in the comments say, hit stop loss. Uh, no, it didn't hit stop loss. It actually just touched the edge of the safe zone and then reverse this is guys not a stop loss please pay, att pay attention if you want to make any stop loss you can make it a little bit below that uh, safe zone however the safe zone is a safe zone therefore this is not a stop loss so therefore um we can see right here that the target this time is actually gonna be right here the peak oh we are on the daily candle sorry um the target if in case we started to buy the gold is gonna be i'm just trying to be wise as much as possible that should be right here the the previous support level so we are actually aiming 441 pips of profit from this deal so the take profit 1833.85 there goes your signal for this uh, remaining days of this week and i really hope it's going to be very profitable and good for everyone in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching